fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else happens after that? Uh, he goes into, uh, he throws his clothes into the dryer, mm-hmm. and then he goes into the garage and starts playing his metal music, yeah. his guitar. Which is, uh, I think uh, it's um, like a Metallica cover or something, because mm-hmm. it's very, there's a, uh, a lot of uh, Metallica uh, references in this. Mm-hmm. And I think they actually okayed, if I'm, it's been a few years since I read about this movie, but they they gave them permission oh, nice. to use all the their yeah. music. Okay. And that's why you actually hear Metallica throughout the entire movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what else? Uh, cut back to the school. Mm-hmm. Right and oh, he runs into the he runs into the bully in the bathroom, right? Yeah, and they they kind of have a scuffle. Yeah. And he pushes Dustin down. Uh, Dustin gets mad because yeah. of the whole car thing. He's mm-hmm. still upset over that. Yeah. And uh, he basically starts shoving TJ's head into the urinal. Yeah. Telling him to eat the... Uh, cake. Yeah. And uh, Hesher walks in, it's sees weird. what's going on. Yeah. And TJ's like, help me, get him off me. And uh, Hesher just walks away. Yeah. And... Uh, that's what, uh, and then the, you know, uh, Dustin does shove the cake in his face. Yeah. And it's, uh, brutal. Pretty look, horrible. <laughs> brutal looking. Yeah. And then, uh, TJ ends up, he gets mad at Hesher. Mm-hmm. He tries to go, uh, he goes back home and he's like, get the fuck out of my house, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You saw what he was doing to me, you didn't even help. Like, what the fuck is the matter with yeah. you? And so Hesher feels bad. And he says, "There, he's in the bathtub at the time. He says, go to my van, wait for me, I'm going to get some clothes on. And so they set off uh, to to go to Dustin's yeah. car. car. Yeah. And that's when uh, TJ, re- uh, he realizes, he's like, what the hell are we doing here? He's like, we gotta go, let's go back home. What are we doing? We got to go back home. Yeah. And uh, so they arrive at the uh, the kid's house, the police house. Yeah. And uh, Hesher pulls out a, a can of gas. Yeah. And he starts rolling up to the house. And he's like, hey, wait, 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 what's going on? What's yeah. going on? And he starts uh, basically dowsing uh, the interior, the, the yellow convertible yeah. that's sitting outside in the driveway with the gas. Mm-hmm. Uh, with uh, the obvious intention of uh, setting it on fire. <laughs> yeah. Fight fire on fire. Yes. <laughs> um, they almost get caught. They the they turn the lights on inside. They hear some noise, and then uh, someone is investigating from. In, I think it's the dad that looks the out the window, window. Yeah. and then he turns the light back off and goes back to his business. So then uh, Hesher continues to pour some gas, and he light, he actually goes through it that lights the uh, car on fire. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's an automobile, so it explodes. Yeah. Which is uh, very crazy to watch. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> that whole scene. They're just walking away. Because he still doesn't care at all. Yeah, it like, does like, not whatever. face him. Yeah. Uh, then he leaves TJ. And he's like, open up the door, open up the door. At the scene. Yeah, he, lock, he ends up locking the passenger side door and he just takes off. Yeah. And then he, TJ ends up running a couple blocks, I guess. And then he p- ends up picking him up. Mm-hmm. Or he, um, he actually... Rolls up on him and he's like, you know, get in the car. It's like, no, fuck you, I'm not going with you. And he's like, get in the car, I'm gonna run you over. And he and he he's ends. Like, he's like, I'm not going with you. And he ends up ramming him. <laughs> this little kid, he hits him with the car, and it's it's an awesome scene because he just gets hit and he falls on the ground. And then you see Hesher get out of the car and he's like, oh shit. And then he starts to move and he's like, that was fucking awesome, kid. You you. He's moved. like, you flew like five feet. And then uh, TJ gets up and kicks him square in the balls. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Hesher, you can tell he's not mad. Mm-hmm. Like, he knew he had that coming. Yeah. And he's like, all right, let's go. Get in the car. And it's, it's kind of weird bonding experience yeah. for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they, they've they gotten the bully back. And, yeah. And so the next day, we cut to um, him, uh, TJ, brushing his teeth. Yeah. And the cops... Uh, uh, come to his door to yeah. question him about Obvious the car. Suspect. Uh, because obviously the, the bully had said that he had some run-ins with this kid. Mm-hmm. So then Hesher's like, don't worry, dude. Uh, they're just questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't got no, no, no evidence or nothing. So they take TJ down and TJ gets upset because uh, 
they fingerprint him and yeah. he has this kind of record now. Yeah. Because like, we got you on record now. Yeah. And uh, he goes back home and he's like, you fucking asshole. Like, they, they took my fingerprints and all of this. And he's like, so what, dude? Like, yeah. who cares? And uh, what happens after that? Um, that is when uh, TJ ends up going to the market where Natalie Portman works. And he brings her a uh, ice cream cone. That he had bought from the uh, ice cream shop that's inside the marketplace. Yep. And he's like, here you go, I bought it for you. And he just gives her an ice cream and then he like walks away. And then she's like, uh, it was, it, it's funny because it's, it's something a kid would do. It's kind of just like, you know, like here, like this is for you. Not knowing that she's, not thinking that she, you know, she's out, obviously at work on a register. And mm-hmm. she can't be looking at an ice cream cone. And uh, so he just takes off, and she's there holding an action phone, like, okay. And then um, we have a lot of, uh, there's a lot of times in the movie where uh, Hesher is involved. Or there's a scene with uh, Hesher, the grandma, and uh, TJ at mm-hmm. dinner. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah. they're talking, because the, the grandma keeps on asking TJ if she'll go on a walk with them um, before school. And... Um, uh, TJ always blows her off. He says, you know, I can't have school in the morning. And then Hester's like, fucking school? You got school? That's your excuse? He's like, you're telling me you can't get up an hour early and walk your grandma? He's like, what if, what if she gets fucking raped? You heard of the grandma, the, the, the grandma, the granny granny killer? Or granny rapist? Dude, he's just granny killer. Yeah, and then he's like, he's like, what? He's like, yeah, fucking... Granny killer killed like 13, 14 ladies, strangling them with their dirty underwear. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't. He didn't cock fuck them all, but you know he finger fucked. He finger fucked them for sure. <laughs> and the dad's like, "Whoa!" It's like, "Whoa!" Calm down. Enough. Yeah. And then the grandma's like, "Why, why would someone want to rape me?" <laughs> He's like, "I don't know. There's a lot of sick fucks out there," <laughs> which is one of the one of the more uh, funny scenes in this movie. But uh, the grandma's hilarious in this too. Yeah. Just her little. Uh, whippy little thing. Because she's very, yes. like, uh, kind of oblivious to, uh... <laughs> yeah. She accepts uh, Hesher, too, until we come to that scene where uh, Hesher kind of realizes that Madeline, the grandmother, is sick. Yes. And she's uh, been prescribed medical marijuana. Yes. So he's like, oh... Um, he, he decides to bring her uh, his bong. Uh-huh. And show her this kind of uh, different method of smoking. Instead of smoking it with uh, the joint. Yeah, he uses the the water pipe or a water bong. What is called? Yeah, a, a bong. Bubble. And uh, he uh, he shows her how to how to hit it. Yeah, much. he's like, you put your thumb on here, you light it, and you know you suck in the air, and you, you let it go, and you suck in all the smoke. And then it's it's a really funny scene when she's doing it. She's like, oh. Oh my! <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, here, here, do some more." She's like, "No, I think I'm fine." He's like, "All right, I'll finish it off for you." And then he uh, he tells the story of uh, his snake. Yes. About how uh, he had this pet snake who um, who would eat live mice. Yeah. And one time, and then this one time, he put a live uh, mouse inside the cage, and that the mouse uh, punched the snake in the face. Yeah. Basically, like saying like "fuck like, you," like, you and scaring the you're, scaring you're, the snake out of eating it, mm-hmm. and uh, and that the snake got so scared that it would uh, it would just cower in the other side of the cage yeah. in, for for in, months. In, yeah, and it ended up starving to death. Yeah, with uh, even though he would put uh, different mice, mm-hmm. they would just all hide behind the first one. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and that his snake ended up dying in a, in a cage full of mice. Yeah, and that was this kind of metaphor uh, talking about TJ mm-hmm. and how TJ refuses to be um, like held down by anyone. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that was Hesher coming to terms with the fact that he tried to take advantage of this kid and and it's not working yeah. out how he planned it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That he was scared because this guy, this tiny kid, would not, will not stop. Yeah, it won't budge. Yeah. And, uh, and that's when, uh, she, she says basically like, oh, what are you, like, why are you, uh, like, what are you doing around, hanging around with TJ? Yeah, she's like, you're a little older than him. 
He's like, oh, who, who's TJ? <laughs> he's like, you're old, too. He's like, you're old, too. He's, she's, she's like, like, I'm his grandmother. He's like, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he ends up telling her, you know, um, I'm going to go on that walk, with, walk you. with you in the morning. And she's like, okay. Um, I think she's actually, like, super high, so she's kind of confused at what's going on mm-hmm. at that point. And um, he ends up leaving her alone. And um, what happens after that? Is that when, uh, that's when uh, TJ ends up going to sleep in the, uh, he finds out where the the car was, right? Because the next night he comes back and uh, finds out that his grandma passed away. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so he, he takes those, um, those, uh, those uh, cutters mm-hmm. that Hesher had threatened him with, and he, he takes them out of the dresser or the drawer, and he goes to uh, Dustin's house. That's, uh... I don't think that happened. Oh, we're, no, we're skipping. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he... No, okay, this is what we missed. <laughs> he had been secretly collecting... Uh, so, the the from the beginning of the film, the, the guy from the tow truck company, the junkyard, yes. said, if you want the car, you need you would need $1,400. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll give you the car, thinking that, oh, no, there's no way this kid's going to get ever get that kind of money. Mm-hmm. But he is able to scrounge up. TJ scrounges up that money. And then we see him kind of take his uh, dad's uh, credit card to get that last bit of, mm-hmm. uh, little bit of money. He rolls on over to um, to the uh, to the junkyard. To he goes to the girl's house, remember? That's when he finds out. That Hesher has been. Um... That's we're still jumping. Okay, we're jumping. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so first he goes to the junkyard to give the the guys the money. Yeah. For the car, and they refuse and say no. The car's already went to yeah, the it's junkers. Gone. It's not here. Like it's it's gone. You're mm-hmm. never gonna see it again. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, uh, I wouldn't even be able to give you the car anyway because yeah. you need a driver's license. You need uh, permits. And uh, so he he kind of loses hope. Yeah, and um, and he he decides he's gonna give it to uh, Nicole's character. Nicole's character. Yeah, yeah. she said she's struggling with money right now. Natalie Portman. Yeah, and then we find out that uh, Hesher Hesher gets up. Uh, he gets up to to make some cereal, mm-hmm. and he realizes that the grandmother has uh, passed away. Yeah, because he I think he goes in to give her some cereal. Yeah, like he makes one a bowl for him and a bowl for her yeah. to go hang out with her, and then he sees that she's fallen over in the closet yeah. and uh, passed away. So uh, the dad comes home and he realizes what's happened, and then they're waiting for um, TJ, to get, TJ to get home. And then uh, he he gets home and they kind of just sit quietly, and then. Boom, Hesher gets upset and flips over the, the coffee table. And he yeah. says, I need to get the fuck out of here or I'm gonna before I hurt someone. Yeah. And that's uh, he ends up going to Nicole's house. Mm-hmm. So then uh, TJ calls Nicole too and is like, Hey, um, I just wanted to to let you know I have a gift for you. Yeah. I guess I'm just going to come over and drop by and hopefully you'll be there. Yeah. So then he cruises on over to her uh, apartment with her, with his bike. Mm-hmm. And uh, he goes up with the money and her her house is, her apartment door is open. Yeah. And he walks in and she, nobody's in the living room. And he goes over to the bedroom and he kind of peeks in and he sees that uh, Hesher is sleeping with Nicole. Yeah. And he gets upset and he takes a, lamp, a nearby lamp and he throws it at the door and says, fuck you. Yeah, and runs away. And that's when Hesher and Nicole run after him. Uh, and then uh, TJ picks up this pipe from a nearby shopping cart and yeah. starts going to town on the Hesher's van. Yeah. Which is nuts. And then Hesher tries to stop him. He, he turns around, swings on him. Yeah. Hits him a couple times, I think. And he says, I don't want to see your ugly fucking faces again. Yeah, he's like, you fat prostitute. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Natalie Portman's character. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he rides away on his bike. And, uh, that's when he decides to get... He gets the clippers. That's right, yeah. Because he feels like he has nothing. And, uh, he decides to go after Dustin the bully. And uh, he he sneaks into the house, and uh, he puts a, puts the clippers around his uh, to his um, 
on his toes, on mm-hmm. his big toe, and he's like, give me the, um, he's like, let me know, or tell me where the.